Welcome back, everybody. You know, after the success managing my one runway, one gate airport over in Sim Airport, I decided I'd take a shot at renovating airports. We're playing Airport Renovator today. This has a free demo over on Steam, so we're gonna take a look at that. The description on Steam's pretty good. Take matters into your own hands and renovate a rundown airport. You have the right tools for the job, so clean up and restore this place. Open up the loot crates and pieces of equipment that you can arrange according to your plan. Make this airport an international giant. Ah yes, loot crates. Always, always good to mention in the description of your game. I'm, <laughs> Let's hope those aren't the toxic kind of loot crates. Either way, it looks like they have a fairly accurate render of some sort of Cessna here based on the nose and how swept back the windscreen is. That might be a Cessna Cardinal. You don't see a lot of those. Either way, I'm looking forward to this. By the way, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe and consider joining the channel. You can also connect with me over on Twitch if you'd like to see some live gameplay from time to time. All those links are in the description. Let's see what we've got here. New game. Well, looks like there's gonna be a few different airports. Right now, there's only one available. Any description? Nope. Okay, South America. Mountainous, whoa. De Havilland Twin Otter there, I like it. Something like that anyway. Airport renovator. <laughs> whoa. That is, that is a dangerously placed runway right there. Whoa. What? We're skydiving into it? That's the that's the best way to enter any new job, by the way. We're gonna hit that fence. We're gonna hit that fence, Tuck! Tuck! Okay, apparently we made it. Oh So this is how it begins. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, just a brief reminder to any game devs out there that most YouTube content creators are available for voice acting work. I myself am, feel free to reach out. Check out this runway though. Look at this. This would be a, uh, <laughs> a, a fairly dangerous approach. I like it. Okay, shift to sprint, hold to select ax. Ooh. <laughs> sprinting with an ax. Ooh, swinging, swinging an ax while we're sprinting. Okay, little hanger at the end of the runway basically here. I'm not even sure where the runway begins. Can't actually see it. What the heck is that? Wait a minute, what the? <laughs> okay, so there is there's just a goat on the roof. En envision this from this goat's perspective. This man, this, this human, just fell from the sky and is now brandishing an axe. Oh, we got stairs, okay. Be, be free, my goat. What, what, what? Are you okay? All right, was not expecting a goat. Um. Obvious concern for pilots trying to land here. And if you've never <laughs> if you've never thought about it, wildlife on rural runways is a real problem. Frequently you overfly runways like late at night, if it's in like deer territory or something. You you fly over it low once just to scare away all the animals. Into the hangar. What do we have? What? <laughs> this, this goat is just invading all my territory here. I can't see anything. What is happening? Oh, no airplane. Look at the state of this place. <laughs> yeah. How was the landing? What? Hope not like the other time. What? Quickly, get rid of those trees along the runway. Time to get swinging. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Call me for some voice acting. Cut down trees near the airstrip. These are some hardy trees too. It's not like these things like just showed up here. Ooh, oh, did dollars, did dollars just fly out of that? Oh, it's the value of the airport up in the upper corner. Okay, all right. How long has it been since anyone has landed here that these trees are this big? You made it, bravo. Now it's time for the first supply drop. Just hide somewhere so the crate doesn't hit you in the head. Supply drop? Oh man, I can't help but feel like that's supposed to be some type of version of Amelia Earhart. Drop incoming, come on. Come on. Oh. We'll hit it in the air. Ah, ah dang. Oh, hey. Oh, great. A blower. That grit on the runway looks dangerous. Did she not know what she was dropping me? She seems surprised that it was a leaf blower too. I don't know. 
Ooh. <laughs> so we're just supposed to blow all this stuff away? Can we sprint while we do it? Oh yeah, we can. Ooh yeah. <laughs> Just, just bodily sprinting down the runway. Woo! I mean, that's not bad. Wow. Just, just this leaf blower and those five trees. Airport value is up to 27.5. Run. I'm, I'm sorry, but... Cutting down five trees and leaf blowing a runway is not going to result in $60,000 of value. Oh, we get another airdrop. But wait! The dust isn't clear! Move, goat! Airdrop, airdrop. We need the axe. We will get one of these to fall on us. Come on! Come on, come on. Yeah. Ugh. Let's check what new toy is hiding in the next delivery box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, Amelia. A weed eater. All right. I mean, yeah, I get that. We've got definitely got some weed problems around here. The whack attack, I think it was called. All right. What do, what do we even have going on here? Can we climb this thing? I mean, the goat went up it. Looks like there's a little scenic overlook there. That's nice. Maybe some cars or something. I don't. I don't really know. Oh, we got a lot of we got a lot of weed eating to do. Oh, okay, it's just around the edge of the runway, which does make sense. You don't want anything low wing flying. <laughs> just took a flying leap off the roof there. Excuse me, goat. Goat, pardon me. Ah, yes. Okay. Just basic maintenance is improving the value here ridiculously. Excuse me, goat. So is the goat just like my friend now? It's like the NPC that I've always wanted. You guys gotta seal this. You gotta seal this. It shouldn't just be weed eating. Will the weed eater work on garbage? Nope. All right. We gotta take up this shoddy sealer, put some more caulking in here. <laughs> you imagine this guy just like Terminator running down the runway? You're like ready to land. There's some dude just, sp whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, he's flying. We've got hoverboards. Invisible ones. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm on board. I'm on board. Anybody worked airport maintenance before? It's probably a lot like this, right? Particularly a nice, uh... I don't even know. 1,500 foot runway, max. If I've learned anything all these years, it's that anything worth doing is worth doing right. Let loose the dogs of Weed Eater. I'll tell you, I know these game devs are just, you know, developing whatever, but I would absolutely kill for a weed eater that didn't have a problem around poles and that sort of stuff. Just changing out wires. Ooh, what's this? I can use this seedling. <laughs> hey, a seedling. I can use that. That one's free. Oh, man. We can be like, we can be like the worst neighbors ever. Just like, just subtly trimming out to the neighbors. Just subtly pointing out that the neighbors don't do a good job on taking care of their property. No big deal. No, but everybody loves that guy. Everybody loves that guy. I'm actually gonna start by just doing all the edging around the property here. All of it. Excuse me, sir, I can't help but notice that my neighbor's sapling is, uh, is all up in my space. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Fine. I'm not- I, I'm gonna weed it around it. 
I would trim these tr these branches too. Who do you think your neighbors even are out here? South America in a secluded valley in the middle of some mountains. I cannot imagine that I'm gonna have neighbors who are close or, you know, friendly. But as long as I've got cartoon Amelia Earhart here to drop me supplies, by golly. It's at least, it's at least nice that off the end of my runway, you know, there's like, not some trees. There's some trees, there's no buildings over there, that's good. There actually are restrictions on how tall you can build buildings around airports, and even about, um, towers and that sort of thing. You don't want tall buildings being too close to the end of runways. Shocking, huh? Got some more rubbish. We got an awful lot of rubbish around here. Is this a couch? Is this a couch? My gosh. I better be able to use that. Kind of tough to get up on some of these, but we're gonna weed eat it. Wait a second. Well, it looks like my neighbors are maybe hiding some of their perhaps illegal plants near my property in the middle of a secluded valley in South America. I don't know. Let's just hope that, uh, you know, we survive this particular airport endeavor. And there we go. Society would have you believe you should go in straight lines in an orderly fashion. Maybe in some sort of ring around the area. Well, I reject society. Just wildly hover sprint everywhere that I can. I'm gonna fix up this whole place, by golly. Anything worth doing is worth doing at 40 miles an hour. Perhaps on foot. It's unclear. At least she dropped me, like, a commercial weed eater and not one of those electric ones where you're fighting with the cable all the time. You could do, like, you could do, like, some survival courses out here. Get, like, a contract with the U.S. government or something like that. Get some grant income. That's how you're gonna fix this place up. I mean, maybe from whatever country in South America this is in, you might be able to do something similar with their government, but... Based on the hidden plants all over the place, I don't know that they're going to want to be real close to you. Or, frankly, that you'd want them to be around. I mean, you got two ways you're going to make money on this airport. Perhaps of the uh, illegal nature. If you could guarantee uh, privacy and security of clandestine flights. I mean, I can't imagine this is a huge tourist destination, so you're probably not going to have a lot, of, uh, a lot of passenger flights. So maybe something governmental. Maybe something in the government space. All right, looking good, yeah, yeah. Uh. Okay, yeah, that looks good. <sighs> Wonder if we're gonna have like um, plane mechanic simulator, like uh, like refueling, or something like that. That could be fun. Well, I guess we're just renovating the airport. We're just we're the flippers. We're the airport flippers out here. You know what this probably is? This was like a drug dealer's airport, and he's like, you know what? Or she, the drug dealer, the drug dealer is like, you know what? I would like to have a little bit nicer scenery when making our illicit deliveries. I'm like, well, by golly, this charming gent, this charming gentleman is, is happy to help. As far as I can tell, there is no reason to never let go of the sprint button. Just FYI. But to be fair, I do not want a stamina system in this game. <laughs> do not, do not misinterpret that comment. That's, that's a, that's a tip, not a critique. Goat, buddy. First of all, I feel like goats would be half decent, like, at keeping the grass short. If you could teach it to avoid the runway, or to like, come inside when there's an airplane in the area or something. I don't know. I don't know. There's a business model there. I'll have to think about this. <laughs> Just an occasional crying of the goat. Do you hear it, Clarice? Is that a bird? Is that a plane? No, it's a loot crate. Once again with the loot crate terminology. I don't, uh, I don't... Uh Curious what's inside. Particularly in this part of the world, Amelia, you should not be dropping things out of your plane if you don't know what's in them. Okay, there we go. I believe the term would generally be scorched earth. 
Wait a second. Okay. All right, there we go. Scorched Earth. Hopefully the goat can keep it under control now. As you can see though, they've already dropped my next loot crate because clearly they thought that it was just good enough before I got everything wiped out. No, no. If we're not thorough, we're not doing it right. Whoa. I don't know, I don't know. Pressure washer. Ooh. There you go. How beefy are our windows? Yeah, those windows standing up well. Where's the goat? Bath time, buddy. <laughs> Do not use a pressure washer on your goat, everybody. You always start at the top and work down. Use the axe to destroy the trash? I don't know. I don't know. That seems like some overkill. Almost missed the stairs here, by golly. Remember, when you're using a pressure washer, you want to be standing under it. Basically, in the spray zone. <sighs> Where can I get some of these hurricane-proof windows? This is awesome. Okay, time for the axe. Look out, goat. Alright, can't hurt the goat. What? It just exploded into confetti. Good news, everybody. Those were nice file cabinets. You can you consider that trash? How are we supposed to administer this thing? Even airports need file cabinets, okay? Why are you dropping me crates? I'm still cleaning. Ugh. Whoa. She just she just thinks that it's good enough. We haven't even we haven't even cleaned the inside of this. This is ridiculous. Hope this flooring allows for a good flow of water. Satanic goat head coming through the floor over there. Best airport ever. Hey there. Welcome to Rico International. Do not pet the satanic goat. Oh my goodness, now that. That looks like a loot crate. Ugh. If you want me to land safely, you need to illuminate the runway. Quick! I don't want to fly at night during a storm. Okay. So we gotta throw down some lights, huh? Oh my gosh. Do not use an axe on compressed air canisters, everybody. Furniture placement, airstrip lights. Oh, wow. Well, I don't know which way she'll be landing. She should definitely be careful. Okay, now we're nearing the end of the runway here. I mean, at least going in this direction. See, so that's the problem with, with omnidirectional lights like this. <laughs> <laughs> Satanic goat running at me out of nowhere. You know what I see in here? Heck of a lot of trash. Turn on the radio receiver to report back to Amelia and finish the game. I don't think so. This airport is nowhere near ready enough for Miss Earhart. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? You know what? Hang on. I'm going about this all wrong. I'm never going to find all the trash that they've got out there. I mean, there's some. We need a different plan of attack. Thank goodness we seem to have an unlimited number of these lights. Well, that's better. But I can't help but feel like we could use some more illumination. We are also going to go ahead and go around the edge here so that the neighbors are darn clear on the property line. You know what they say, good fences make good neighbors. I don't even, did we, did we just take out a tree with these lamps? I think we did. And to be exceedingly clear, I'm doing all of this by hand. I'm not using an auto clicker. The hand cramps are real people. <laughs> I had hoped to be a little bit more elegant with it, but this will work. We'll also point out that it was a little bit dark in here at night, so we gonna, we gonna add some lighting. Just a little bit. I feel like this was the bathroom, but I destroyed the toilet with, uh, you know, with an axe. So, as one does. We don't want people being confused with all the lights, so we will lead them in. I mean, we don't have any parking, 
but we will lead them in right here. Yep, you yeah, follow this, just drive right over, right over the blue. I mean, you got to get to the other side of the red first, but I have faith in you. I have faith in you, okay? And then you stop, and then you go on foot, which we're going to go with teal, okay? On foot, in here, in here, move goat. I had grand plans for all this lighting. Hopefully in the full release you'll be able to kind of do three or four lights at a time in a straight line or something. I don't know. I don't know. There was the couch. Oh, we're gonna miss that. If I know anything, it's that I don't want- What? What? My gosh, what is over here? Dead end, dead end murder alley. Cool. Is this how you get up to the overlook? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, another plant. Look at that. See, it's perfectly clear. You drive in, you walk in, you, you don't land on the green or the red. That though, but but those reds tell you about the end of the runway, but only if you're landing in this direction. If you're landing from that direction over there, then you're just out of luck. I mean, you know, we'll figure out some uh, single direction lights at some point. I got a light all the way up there. All right. <laughs> all right. Wonder if we can get up there. Oh my gosh. There's only one thing for it. Get out of here. Hey. We are going to make this the darn best, sketchy, no questions asked airport South America has ever seen. I mean, it's sketchy and no questions asked, but it's also painfully well lit, you know? Satellites are going to be able to see this thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to listen to this guy. Ah, good. Good. The lighting in the buildings has really helped here. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there. At this point, we've still got 1% dust out there somewhere until, you know, the next wind storm. And we're still missing 9% of the trees somehow. I'm not sure. I couldn't cut down any of the trees up by those overlooks, so I'm, I'm not real sure. In addition, I only found 7 out of 10 plants. So, if you give this a try and happen to find more of the plants or get 100% on this, great job. Let me know about it in the comments. This was a pretty good time, other than a uh, demon goat chasing me around, of course. I suppose we'll, uh, we'll actually go talk to Amelia here and, uh, and finish the game. It's a lot you can do with all these lights, I'll tell you that. 298,000, just for some handyman work, no problem. Yeah, okay. It's pretty, pretty well, pretty well modeled Cessna right there. Anyway, if you enjoy this, the demo is free on Steam, and if you play it, let me know about it in the comments. Thanks for watching.